Allen Heath PL remote control devices provide controls such as faders, rotary encoders, switches, indicators and logic GPIO which may be assigned by the user to suit the application. These controllers interface with iLive using standard Cat5 cables via the RS485 based PL ANET port on mix racks and modular surfaces. The PL range include control wall plates such as the PL3 with programmable switches and tri-coloured LEDs and the PL4 with switches, LEDs and a rotary control with LED ladder and a built-in infrared receiver allowing it to be operated by the PL5 handheld remote. The infrared receiver is also available as a standalone wall plate module called PL11. When interfacing with external systems, alarm systems, jukeboxes, room dividers and lights, the PL8 wall plate module provides four logic inputs and four logic outputs. PL6 and PL10 are ideal as remote mix controllers, providing musicians with control over their monitor mix, or as a compact sidecar solution at front of house. PL6 comprises eight faders, 24 tri-coloured LEDs and 16 soft switches. PL10 has eight rotary controls instead of faders. As they are endless turn encoders with LED bars, they always indicate and follow the current levels. When several PL controllers are needed in the same system, the PL9 hub offers a star topology solution with up to seven individual chains of PL devices, simply wiring and eliminating the need for complex daisy chaining. This may be required for on-stage personal monitoring. PL devices must be connected before assigning their controls. Several remotes may be connected by daisy chaining Cat5 cables between them. Make sure that the last device in the chain has its end of line terminator plugged into its output socket. Check that all connected devices have their green power LEDs illuminated. If the LED is off or red then check the cables and connections. The maximum number of PL devices connected depends on cable length and device type. Refer to the PL Calculator spreadsheet on the Allen & Heath website to check your application. Once connected, the system identifies each device by type and location. Names may be applied to each controller. These are stored in the iLive, not in the PL devices. For PL devices plugged into the Surface, select the touchscreen, Surface Setup, PL ANET Setup page to view and edit the assignments of any PL series remote control devices currently connected. For PL devices at the mix rack, select the mix rack Setup, PL ANET page instead. Select the unit and device from the screen. Use the screen selection boxes to scroll to the control type and number you wish to assign. Use the drop down function and LED setting menus to assign the required functions. The LED function can be set to follow the relative soft key function. Press apply to accept each change. In the following example we're going to configure a PL10 for personal monitoring. Set the first rotary control and choose AUX send level from the drop down menu. Set Stereo Group as the Send Source Type, Number 1 and set Mono Aux as the Aux Type, Number 1. We're assuming this is the Aux Mix for Wedge Monitor 1 with Stereo Group 1 being a Drum Subgroup. Set a minimum and maximum gain if needed and press Apply. Now repeat the same steps for Rotary Controls 2 to 8. Set other source types and numbers, for example, Stereo Group 2 for keyboards, Stereo Group 3 for the background vocals, and individual input channel for the bass, guitars and lead vocals. Save your settings as a PL library item when you are finished. Libraries can be transferred between systems via a USB key. As you gain confidence with the system, you can assign the device soft keys to recall partial scenes that only affect the configuration of this particular PL controller. For example, to swap between layers of channels and set static LEDs to show which layer you're on. 
This could allow a musician to adjust all individual 64 input channels, 